Today I'm going to show you how to make this one pot chicken soya rice. It is so easy to make and so delicious. This recipe is a hit back to back and if you don't want to do dishes, this is perfect for you. So let's get cooking. Let's start by talking about the rice we're using. I'm using this Tilda Basmati rice. I have like a few brands of Basmati that I always use and this is one of them. So we're just going to be transferring the rice into a bowl and then we're going to wash. This is the texture of the basmati rice that I'm using. I just feel like basmati rice works better for this recipe. So now I'm washing. You guys wash the rice till the water runs clear, which takes about washing it three to four times. Instead of discarding the water for washing your rice, do you know that you can use it to wash your hair? And a lot of people have said that they've seen their hair grow so much after using rice water to wash their hair. If you don't know about that, you need to do a bit of research. So don't throw the water away. Now I'm going to place some water in a pot and then put it on the cooker. Once it boils, I'm going to add the rice and I'm going to add some salt. Even though I'm parboiling this rice, so I'm not cooking it um, till it is properly done, I still want to season the rice a bit. So once it boils, I'm just going to take it off the cooker and put it on a strainer. While the rice is cooking, I'm going to season some chicken thighs. I love chicken thighs for this recipe. So I've added some chicken stock powder and my soya powder. My soya powder is a personal blend. It has all the soya spices, also has like ginger powder, um, some white powder, and just some other, you know, seasoning in it that makes it extra. So we're just going to mix the soya pepper my homemade soya pepper and the chicken seasoning mix it enough coat that chicken very very well and then we're going to pan fry it For this recipe to work, for it to be one pan, you have to use a pan that you can use on the cooker as well as in the oven. So this is my cast iron frying pan and I can use it on the cooker and I can use it in the oven. Don't put your plastic handle fry pan in the oven. <laughs> It will burn and melt so don't do that. So I'm just going to you know pan grill the chicken and then we'll do the next steps. This recipe is so easy and straightforward. If you want to see more fun delicious recipes from me you guys you know what to do. Go to the link in my description box and download my cookbooks. It has amazing recipes that my family loves and I bet your family will love it as well. Even just cooking for yourself you will love it so give my recipes a try. The chicken will not be done but it will be pan grilled and browned on both sides. I also forgot to mention that I took off the bone from this chicken, that way it cooks faster. The pan has a lot of deliciousness from the chicken so I'm going to add some onion and some bell peppers and just going to fry that slightly.
I'm going to transfer in the parboiled basmati rice and just going to stir fry that for a bit. I'm seasoning with more soya pepper. I'm going to also add some dried parsley. I'm going to add some chicken stock and I also have some water. I'll just add a bit of that and then combine everything. Now I'm going to place the chicken back on the rice. This is enough liquid to cook the chicken and bake it in the oven. I'm going to put the chicken on top and then we're just going to transfer to the oven to complete the cooking. Next I'm going to cover with heat resistant cover and then I'll put it in the oven. You can use aluminium foil to cover it if you don't have something like this. And then you guys, after about 20 minutes, our rice is baked, our chicken is baked and the flavor tastes so different from when you cook it on your cooker it tastes so good i hope you guys try this recipe if you do don't forget to tag me i would love to see your recreations thank you for watching i'll see you in my next video bye